So in this session, we will be discussing about predicting the product of electrolysis. So we have again come to the electrolytic concept, one of the electrolytic concept that was left over. So predicting the products of electrolysis, that is uh, what is the product that has been produced at cathode and anode respectively. So for this predicting the products of electrolysis, I will be taking the example of electrolysis of electrolysis of molten NaCl first. Molten NaCl that we have already studied in your session number 2, the electrolysis of molten NaCl that is it is your liquid NaCl. So what are the products you already know? The sodium ions and chloride ions. The uh, sodium they dissociate into sodium ions and chloride ions. Sodium ions are positively charged that is nothing but your cations. Chloride ions are negatively charged that is your anions. So cations move towards cathode that is this is the reaction happening at cathode. Anions move towards anode. So this is the anodic reaction. So what happens at cathode? So Na plus they undergo reduction to give you Na solid. This is your liquid. Reduction happens at cathode. Reduction happens at cathode and metallic sodium is deposited at your cathode. Your uh, chloride ions, they undergo oxidation. They undergo oxidation to give you Cl gas which is not stable its atomicity is 2 so as a result 2 Cl they combine together as a secondary change to give you Cl2 gas as the product. So at anode chlorine gas is liberated. So the products of electrolysis of so therefore the products of products of electrolysis of Molten NaCl are sodium, metallic sodium at cathode, at cathode, very important, and uh, chlorine gas at anode. So, these are the products of electrolysis of molten NaCl. Here there is no any other species which is present in your electrolyte since molten NaCl is your electrolyte. It is your electrolyte. As a result, it is very easy to predict, predict what are the products of your electrolysis. But when there are many species, so here there are only two species, sodium and chloride ions. As a result, predicting is very easy. And there are more than two ions, when there are more than two species, how to predict the products that has been produced at cathode and anode, we have to look into it now. This you have already studied in your session too as I have already told you. So only two species is present in your electrolyte. As a result, only two substances has been produced. Hence, it is very easy to predict what are the products at respective cathode and anode. Now we are taking an example wherein you have more than two species of your electrolyte. So your electrolyte has more than two species. And what are the products you have to predict it now? How? We will see now. Now I am taking the example of electrolysis of electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride. Aqueous sodium chloride. I think you know what is the difference? Molten NaCl is you have melted the solid NaCl and you have got its liquid form. Aqueous sodium chloride is you have taken your solid sodium chloride and dissolved in water. So as a result, this is your water plus sodium chloride. So this is your water plus sodium chloride. Hence, there are four species present in your electrolyte now. There are four types of species. Let us see what are those four types of species. First of all, your sodium chloride dissociates into Na plus plus Cl minus aqueous. Aqueous. So these are the two species that are present in your electrolyte now. What we have done is we have taken sodium chloride and dissolved in water. Even water has the capacity to dissociate slightly into its respective ions like this H2O 
dissociates into OH minus plus H plus. So even water has a slight dissociation into OH minus and H plus. As a result you can observe there are four species that is present which can be electrolyzed in this cell. So among these four species which are the species getting electrolyzed and what is the product that has been produced let us see. First of all if you take the cations which is moving towards the cathode what are the cat, uh, cations which is moving towards the cathode there are two cations here Na plus and H plus they both respectively move towards your cathode and they get reduced. So what are the reactions let us see. So cathode reactions. Cathode reaction. First of all sodium Na plus they undergo reduction to give you solid sodium aqueous. aqueous. The A naught of this reaction is that is the standard reduction potential of this sodium metal sodium element it is equal to minus 2.7 volts. The other thing it is coming at cathode as your H plus ions that is reduction of H plus ions has to take place. I will directly take the overall reaction. Overall reaction has reduction of water H2O So you can observe the reduction of water directly I have taken the reduction of water you can also take it as H plus also H plus 2 H plus plus 2 electrons give rise to hydrogen gas. I have directly taken this you can observe addition of electrons is nothing but reduction. So reduction is happening as a result 2 OH minus plus H2 hydrogen gas has been liberated. The E naught of this reaction that is the standard electrode potential of this reaction is minus 0.83 volt minus 0 0.83 volts. So among these two reaction which is a feasible reaction at cathode that is which is the reaction that is happening at this cathode means the reaction or the substance with lower E naught value that is with lower electrode potential requires less voltage as a result that reaction becomes more feasible that is you have to look into the E naught values of both the reactions which reaction has lower potential it means that it absorbs or it takes out less voltage from the cell to happen. It takes out less voltage from the cell electric cell to happen. So as a result you have to see which is the reaction which has less electrode potential. So this is minus 2.7 volt this is minus 0 0.83 volt. So as a result which is a lower electrode potential which is the substance which has lower electrode potential means it is minus 0 0.83 volt. As a result this reaction becomes more feasible. This reaction becomes more feasible that is because it has lower E naught. So lower the E naught the voltage required to make the reaction feasible is less. Hence that reaction happens at the respective electrode electrode so in these two reactions the e naught that is the electrode potential standard reduction potential of this reaction is minus 0 0.83 volt which is lower in uh, nature when compared to this reaction as a result uh, this reaction consumes less electrical energy to happen hence this reaction happens at your cathode Hence, the product produced at cathode is hydrogen gas. So, the second reaction happens at cathode that is the reduction of water happens instead of reduction of sodium. Hence, hydrogen gas is produced at cathode. So, therefore, reaction 2 occurs at cathode 
producing hydrogen gas as the product. As the product. So hence the product at cathode upon electrolyzing your aqueous sodium chloride is hydrogen gas. In the same way, if I take your anodic reactions, what are the anions that move towards your anode? There are two anions, Cl minus and OH minus. They move towards anode they are, and, and they undergo oxidation. Let us see the oxidation reactions of Cl minus and OH minus at anode. First of all, at anode, Cl minus 2C, directly I am taking 2Cl minus gave rise to Cl2 gas plus 2 electrons. So oxidation is happening. So two electrons have been removed from two moles of Cl minus to get you Cl2 gas. This is the first reaction. E naught of this, that is standard reduction potential of this reaction is minus 1.36 volt. So this is the first reaction, oxidation of chlorine gas, sorry, oxidation of chloride ions at anode to give you chlorine gas as the product. And the uh, electrode potential of this uh, half reaction is Standard uh, potential of this reaction is minus 1.36 volts. The next thing is OH minus, it has to undergo oxidation. So instead of taking OH minus, I am taking the overall reaction that is oxidation of water itself. That is H2O gave rise to half O2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 electrons. So oxidation of water, so half O2 plus 2 H plus 2 electrons. So oxidation has happened, you can observe there is a removal of electrons. The E naught of this reaction is minus 1.23 volts. By correlating with this previous cathodic reactions, I have told you that the uh, reaction with lower potential acquire less voltage, require less voltage to happen. So hence, according to this previous pre previous uh, concept that we have studied, applying it here, we can know that the first reactions E0 is greater when compared to the second one. That is, E0 of this oxidation of water, it is only minus 1.23 volt, which is lower when compared to this volume, that is minus 1.36 volt. So we will think that the second reaction is feasible at anode. As a result, it produces oxygen gas as the product at the anode. But this does not happen, that is the reaction 2 will not occur at the anode, instead reaction 1 will occur at the anode. That is, although it is E0 is greater when compared to this E0, the reaction 1 is more feasible at anode than your this reaction. That is, reaction 1 happens at anode although although its e naught is higher than higher than reaction to reaction to. hence hence this reaction is happening. So, what is the product produced? Chlorine gas is produced is produced at anode. Anode. Chlorine gas is produced at anode. At cathode, hydrogen gas is produced. At anode, chlorine gas is produced instead of oxygen gas. Although this reaction is more feasible because its E0 is less when compared to the above reaction that is oxidation of chlorine. This first reaction itself happens and uh, chlorine gas has been the product of the electrolysis at anode. Now the question arises is why although the E0 of the second reaction is lower than the first reaction, why this first reaction is more feasible? Why this first reaction happens? That is because the oxidation reaction that we have seen here, the oxidation reaction which we have seen here, the oxidation of water, it requires more voltage than this theoretical voltage. That is, 
the reaction which is looking here although it is more feasible kinetically the reaction is very slow i think you'll be studying about kinetic speed of reactions in your kinetics chapter before that i'll be telling that if you compare these two reactions reaction 1 and reaction 2 although reaction 2 is feasible thermodynamically if it is feasible it's also feasible but kinetically it is very slow this reaction is very slow which means that the e naught which we have taken here this is theoretical theoretical e naught this voltage is not enough to make this reaction possible that is because it is very slow when compared to this reaction hence you require more voltage than this one to have this reaction that is the theoretical e naught value is not enough to make this reaction feasible that is because this reaction is kinetically slow hence you require some extra voltage to make this reaction feasible this extra voltage that you provide to this reaction which is very slow to make it feasible you call it as over voltage you call it as over voltage voltage that is practically speaking this reaction is feasible but kinetically slow this theoretical voltage that is given here is not enough to make this reaction happen it requires an extra voltage which is called as over voltage hence although e naught value of this reaction is less it is feasible according to this concept with that we have studied at cathode yes it is right but the reaction is since the reaction is kinetically slow this much voltage is not enough to make this reaction you require a more voltage to have this oxidation reaction feasible that extra voltage that you are giving is called as your over voltage hence this reaction is not feasible although its value is low it's not feasible at your anode instead this reaction is feasible which is faster when compared to this reaction hence chlorine gas is produced at anode instead of this oxygen gas because oxygen gas has an over voltage when compared to chlorine gas that is to produce this oxygen gas you have to provide extra voltage than this value hence the reaction one is feasible and the product produced is chlorine gas so here hydrogen gas at cathode and at anode chlorine gas is being produced very important one mark question so what are the products of electrolysis of aqueous nacl at cathode and anode one mark question remember at cathode hydrogen gas is produced and at anode chlorine gas is produced one mark question very important